Hello and welcome back. It's been a long time since I've been on my YouTube channel, but I am back with a video that has been highly requested on Instagram, and that is my teeny tiny half inch curls. So I'm excited to show you how I do those. So I'm not gonna do a hard part in my hair because I want it to look as natural as possible. I'm just gonna go kind of where my hair falls naturally. I'm not gonna use any gels or mousse or anything. I tried that out last time and the curls were just a little bit too stiff and I want to kind of brush them out and make them like loose and natural and wild at the end. So I didn't love how it worked out with a mousse. So all I'm gonna do is just use a tiny bit of hairspray. I'm using the Living Proof Flex hairspray here and just kind of spray a tiny little bit to hold the curl. And then I'm gonna section my hair off just starting at like the nape of my neck. And these curls are so simple, but they are just time consuming. So I am using a half inch curling iron. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Once this is sectioned off, I'm gonna part it in the back. So I have one half on each side, just easier to manage. And then I'm just gonna grab pretty small sections here and wrap them around. wrap them around there and hold it and then I'm just gonna let the curl fall down so you can see what that looks like there for these bottom sections I'll alternate the ways that they're going it doesn't need to be perfect messy is kind of what I'm going for here so I'm just wrapping that around and letting it fall when I wrap it around I am just wrapping it around the barrel I'm not clamping it because I want it to be it's a tight curl, but I want it to be more of a wave than like a, like a Shirley Temple curl. And for these bottom sections, I am going pretty much as close to the root as I can. The top, I'll start a little bit farther down, but for these ones, I want this curl as close to the root as I can possibly get it. All right, here is my very bottom section completely done. It's going to look crazy until I am totally done. So trust the process here. I'm gonna let this down and just get a new section of my hair. So I'm doing pretty small sections so it's easier to manage. This is about all the hair that I have here. And I'm just going to keep doing the same exact thing I have been doing. <laughs> one eternity later so this is pretty much the top layer on this side i want to show you how i'm doing this top section so these ones are still very close to my root in alternating directions i also will alternate the direction that i'm holding the curling iron sometimes i'm holding it down sometimes i'm holding it up just to give more variety to the curls and make them look a little bit more undone and natural okay so you can see i'm holding this one a little bit farther away this is like second back from my face and then my face framing one i'll hold on the root for like a second as i'm just wrapping the rest of it and then slide it down just so it's not you can see right there so it's, the curl really starts about right here and i just personally prefer that for right in my face So I am just gonna keep on grabbing pieces. These ones go towards the back. And I'm just grabbing them from all over at this point so that my part, again, isn't like just super straight. Okay, so for this side, I still have some a decent bit of hair here. So I am gonna separate this into two layers and do the underneath because this definitely all is gonna go to this side. This top section, I'm just gonna kind of grab randomly and curl it however. Okay, 
All right, gonna grab this top section here. Again, the like back half of it just curling in any which direction, so it does look like a little bit crazy. My very front face framing pieces are all going to be starting just a tiny bit down and all curling away from my face. And for an idea of time-wise for this, I would say this takes me about a half an hour total. So it's not too awful bad, but my hair is actually pretty thin. So if you have thick hair or you have a lot of hair, this might take you a lot longer. But the nice thing about this style is that I will do this like once a week and my curl will hold pretty much the rest of the week. I honestly think that like day like two to three hair with these curls is my favorite whenever it's really kind of falling. I think it looks really natural and makes you look like you just naturally have very curly hair. I think that the next time that I do this style and then I curl my hair this way, I want to do it with extensions in because I think that would be really, really fun with just the added like length and volume to my hair. I think it would look really cool. So maybe I'll do a video of that. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. And if you haven't noticed, to get close to the root, once I have the curl wrapped, I'm taking the actual curling iron and rolling it in. So that way it gets a lot closer to the root without burning my fingers off. So as you can see, I'm really just grabbing pieces, no rhyme or reason, and curling them in every which way. Just a few pieces left, finally. I swear this is like an arm workout as well. Last piece. Ta-da! All right, so I'm gonna give this a second to cool down and then I'm just gonna run my fingers through it to break it up. All right, now that it has cooled down a bit, I'm just gonna use my fingers and start running through it. Since I did not give myself a definite part while curling it, I can just kind of create one wherever I want right now. And then you can also grab a wide tooth comb and comb through if you need to. On day like two, three, four, etc., I love having the wide tooth comb because I will spray dry shampoo at the roots and then comb it through with this. I feel like it's a lot easier to break up any oily spots than it is with my fingers. So there you have it. I hope you liked this tutorial. These are super fun. If you have any fun like quarantine at home photo shoots, I feel like these are so awesome for pictures. They photograph really, really well. And as they fall, they look awesome the next couple of days. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All of the products that I used will be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.